100,000 people marching against anti-Semitism in London yesterday. Uh, few were in the mood for chanting, but when they did, there was just one chorus, bring them home. Yes, I was on this march yesterday, and um, it was a really, I think, poignant symbol of just solidarity with the British Jewish community, which has been through so much recently. Um, as you say, you know, mix of sorrow, quiet pride, uh, and defiance against what's really been happening uh, over the past month or so. And, uh, yeah, I think only two arrests, one of which was the Tony, Tony Robertson, who tried to cause a bit of a scene, the other for some chap who was chanting some anti-Semitic stuff. Um, but, yes, it was a really, really good show of force and um, proud to be among the many thousands of Londoners and other Brits who turned out yesterday. Fantastic. Ava? Um, I also went. I, I, I echo all of that. I thought it was a, it was a really nice, peaceful gathering. And I think it, it, it's nice to see people get together and... It, it, you know, in light of what has been a weaponizing, I think, of anti-Semitism over the last couple of weeks, it's lovely to see that show out in force, I think, in London. We've seen some really ugly things on London streets, not, not least what happened on Saturday, not the Palestine march that went ahead very peacefully, but there was a Hizbut Tahrir uh, demonstration that was allowed to go ahead by the Met Police. And I, I, I'm dumbfounded why that was allowed to go ahead, but it's nice that we were allowed to do this on Sunday. Do you see a two-tier policing uh, happening? now with the Metropolitan Police. It seems, you know, obviously, thank God, you know, Tommy Robinson was taken away because the, the people who led that march said very clearly that he was not welcome there. Um, but also there were people on the Palestine march who said very clearly that people who were supportive of Hamas were not welcome at their marches. Do you know, do you think that uh, the police are taking both marches, treating both of them equally? I think that's a tough question because it's specifically with the Hizbut Tahrir demonstration that was allowed to go ahead, so that is not a prescribed organisation in the United Kingdom. Two prime ministers have tried to make it a prescribed mm. organisation and it hasn't been. So the Met Police can only go by the law. So they have yeah. to allow that protest to go <laughs> ahead. If Rishi Sunak was very serious about combating, you know, that kind of language, he would make that a prescribed organisation and wouldn't allow the protest to go ahead in the first place. So it's not about policing, it's about the law, it's about what the government have set in place. And I think that's a really difficult thing that the, the police police are uh, having aimed at them at the moment is that they've got double standards, whereas actually the law you know, appears was to... on the statute book, right, yeah. I guess. Uh, Abe, and I Guardian, see. front page. Israel said 17 hostages released by Hamas, including a Russian national and three Thai nationals as well, yeah. Yes, they were returned yesterday, and there was also 39 Palestinians were also returned. Um, but, I, I mean, this is... a. Uh, this is we're going to see what's going to happen over the next the next few days it could be a potential that this humanitarian pause goes on mm -hmm. there has been some indication from hamas that they would like to release more hostages and they would like to see this but a pause in the ceasefire they'd like this to go on for the next week or so the americans are of course behind that as well but I mean, we we don't know i mean you know hamas have you know broken some of the rules that were set down as have israel it, it's an extremely tentative situation and i think you know you've got a, a, the gaza strip at the moment before the october 7th attacks 80 percent of people were aid dependent you've now got an entire region that is a hundred percent aid dependent so over the next couple of days that's not going to be enough time to get water in to get fuel in or to rebuild what has been broken you need a, a much longer humanitarian pause